Hi and uh, welcome to my channel and uh, today I'm going to go over some of the cool, I guess cool, um, some features and some mods that I've added to my 2023 Panigale uh, V4S. Um, so most of the things that I've added actually, almost 100% of the things that I've added so far was just uh, uh, aesthetics and accessories and maybe some stuff for um, protection. Um, but most of the stuff is non-enhancing performance um, at the moment. Um, I do plan on adding an exhaust uh, to the system, but uh, for the, for now, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you and show you guys what I've added uh, to the uh, to the bike um, from its original um, stock up till now. Um, so we'll just go ahead and start from the front here. Um, first thing you'll notice is that I've added these monster claws um, they're, they're simple they're like I think maybe five bucks on Aliexpress um, I think it just gives a nice kind of look to it it's it still is a Ducati it's got that black and red color it just gives it that little style that unique style to it so that when it's sitting next to another Ducati Panigale that we have out here in Detroit you know I would just say that that's that's my bike you know I can tell that's that's unique and everyone's gonna know that um, up on the top here, I've uh, replaced the original screen, windscreen here, to the Corsa screen. Um, so basically what it means is that it's, it's a little bit higher up um, in its uh, smoke tone. Um, so it's a little bit dark. Um, uh, the dealer told me that this would be ideal because I plan to take this bike on the track. And he said that that is ideal for performance in terms of trying to you know, eliminate the windscreen resistance. But it also is um, nice because it's got that tinted color to it. So when you're looking through it, you're, you're, it's like looking through some sunglasses. So it's not completely 100% dark. Um, so that's something that you don't want to get. Um, but it's also not completely clear. So it gives us that kind of nice tone to it. The overall theme of the bike is kind of red and black. So that kind of makes, makes sense. Um, okay, so you'll notice that the side mirrors are gone. And I put in the Rizoma side mirrors um, I, I personally like them a lot I I know a lot of people um, complain about the feasibility the visibility of it um, yeah there is some issues with it but if you think about it actually what I get from the large window or large mirror you know in terms of uh, longitudinally it's that I'm able to see my blind spot a lot clearer so it's just the middle part that you're not able to see, but what I do is I just lift my elbow up and I can see the whole thing. So it's it's that and also turn your head. I mean, you have to turn your head anyway. So um, I think that that beats, you know, I know that that's maybe a big problem, but it's not a huge problem. If you think about the aesthetics that you get out of this bike, I mean, it just, it looks beautiful. I mean, especially the black tone and, you know, and it's a Rizoma. So you know that it's coming from really good quality stuff. Okay, um, what else we got going on here? So down at the bottom here, I put in, um, I got some EvoTech uh, radiator guards and oil guards installed. Um, I also removed the caliber, the, the reflectors from the caliber, and I put in the caliber spacers that took like five minutes at most. Um, back up on the top here, I just remembered. So with the turn signals removed, um, also the, the, the indicator is also removed and I replaced it with the Rizoma indicators so that's what these are um, and, and they look really nice um, what else uh, moving up here on the top I got these brake and clutch lever guards so you can see here it's on in this side here it's pretty easy to install just unscrew this and put that in there and it says Panigale here I mean I got this from Aliexpress for like maybe 10 bucks um, you can see that's on the other side as well and again I'm, I plan on taking this to the track so just in case you know I want to have this extra protection um, I did get new levers so these are the uh, Rizoma le levers by Ducati I'm sorry they're Ducati uh, let's see if you can see that Huh? Can you see it? Yeah, there we go. Ducati by Rizoma. And um, they're nice because they, they move up if they fall. So it's another kind of protection 
that you get um, on the levers just in case you do drop the bike. <clears throat> okay, what else? Uh, moving up on the top over here, um, I added um, some Rizoma cl uh, uh, clear clutch, not clear clutch, I'm sorry, uh, brake and clutch reservoir replacements for uh, by Ducati, um, by Rizoma, I'm sorry, um, made for Ducati by Rizoma. Um, I also added this mount here for my phone, so I use quad lock on my phones. Um, and so I got this thing here, instead of putting it through here, through the fork, uh, this one comes from EvoTech, and this mount basically installs right on top of, right where your key ignition set is, uh, and it bolts right into this. It took no more than 10 minutes to install um, and it comes with this thing here so that you can lock it into your your, quad, your phone and it works really well the only the only problem is that you can't put this on portrait mode because it blocks your key um, so I have to always keep it on landscape mode and that's okay it's not a big deal I prefer it to be on portrait but it's okay um, the dealer was able to put the the cable for me from the battery which sits right in here and I use that for my, my phone charger uh, what else? Got a cool little Detroit Ducati sticker. All right, moving to the side here now. Uh, what we've got here is this beautiful, I think beautiful, clear clutch um, set by Duca Bike. Um, it says special parts here, V4 at the bottom, which I think it's just beautiful. Matches well with the V4S that's down over here. I wish it would have said V4S, but that's okay. Uh, made in Italy. You know, I have to have everything as close as possible from Italy, parts from Italy. I mean, this is an Italian bike, and you're going, you're paying, you know, upwards of thirty thousand dollars for this bike. You might as well just go for really, really good quality stuff. So I got the the two tone one, and I didn't want to go completely red um, because you've got this kind of mix between the red and black over here. Um, but also, the red doesn't really, it's not a real match to the red. Of the bike you know it's a subtle difference I mean maybe the camera can't pick it up very much but I can see it so you know you don't want to go too crazy with aftermarket red colors you know because you'll never get the exact red uh, Ducati red okay so moving up um, here right above the clear clutch I've got the oops I got the frame sliders um, again these are CNC racing frame sliders made in Italy uh, highly recommended not sure whether it'll help, you know, maybe during a crash on a, on a track, but uh, at least if I were to drop the bike, it wouldn't damage the fairings, and that's what I'm more concerned about, dropping the bike. Um, so you got the uh, tank grips. Um, these I got from AliExpress, pretty cheap. I got this uh, tank pad from uh, the dealer, about 40 bucks. Uh, moving up here, I think this is one of the, the best features of the bike, I think, so far, is the quick action gas cap by TWM. And I got the carbon one um, with the, the screws hidden. So the screws are hidden inside of this. Um, don't ask me how they installed it. The dealer installed it for me, but it is definitely a must. I, I really like this quick action. I think it's, it just makes it so easy to open and lock in you don't need the key or anything like that business okay so that's that as I said I am gonna get a new exhaust and I'm gonna get the Akrapovich um, low mount slip on I'm not gonna get the full exhaust I think that's just crazy you save an extra thousand dollars you know why not um, moving to the back over here I got the integrated tail light system so the license plate is nicely, uh, obviously it's been removed and, and tidied up. And I've got the lights integrated into the tail. So these are the brake lights as well as indicator lights. Okay, so it's not the CNC one where you have the indicator sticking out over here, which I think looks kind of cheesy. This one seems to be a better fit. I mean, and it's got that tone, that, that smoke tone color to it. So again, it keeps that black blackness. Okay, and uh, moving on to the other side over here. The only other thing I can think of that I got over here was this extension for my kickstand. Um, that I think is highly recommended. 
because it's really hard to get your kickstand down. Um, otherwise, this extension kind of helps find it with your feet and then you can just push it right out. So that is pretty much it. And another thing that you can't see that I did install on this guy was the heat shield. So the heat shield sits underneath the seat, underneath the frame, uh, also on the other side as well. <clears throat> and so uh, it's kind of like peppered, I think, around here and under here and, and so forth. And there's this shield right here that, that comes from the, from the heat shield manufacturer. So obviously, you know what that's for. That's just to reduce the heat. Um, okay, well, that's pretty much it. If, I, if there's anything else I can think of, I'll let you guys know. But uh, this is my bike. Um, and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if there's anything besides the exhaust that I need to install on this bike, uh, sh uh, let me know down in the comments as well. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. Take care. Thanks, guys. Bye.